Right again? I can feel it! Oh! Oh, there we go! Hey guys, Dustin here, and if you've been following me on Facebook and Instagram, you know I've been teasing this because I just picked up a Smith & Wesson 500. I was reminiscent of my Top Shot days, and this was the first and last gun I shot on the show, and I was just like, it's time to get one and trim some trees, right? And so I ended up going to Big Daddy Unlimited, and so, uh, because they, like, I could buy this brand new just the same price as you. So y'all can check out BigDaddyUnlimited.com slash Dustin, and that help, helps out the channel, but they got good deals. So it's like become my first stop shop for all this stuff. So we've got this big boy, and if you are in unfamiliar with the 500, it shoots up to a five, actually up to a 700 grain bullet. And so this is a 500 grain, so that's your projectile. And of course, this is your whole cartridge. And so we have some, I, I picked up some ammo from there as well, but I also got some bullets from, uh, RMR and Redding sent me some dies. So we're shooting some 275 grains because it's like normally two bucks a shot for this thing, but I could get it down, not counting the brass, for like 37 cents a shot using that stuff to reload and re roll my own. So right back here, we've got this little guy that wouldn't shut up in the comment section about hitting trees. So we got him to be quiet and we have this tallow tree. If you're familiar with Chinese tallow, it's like a precious and rare tree. Not really, it's trash but it figures so it's a great one to trim today and we have what's left of our clear ballistics gel a uh, bill okay this is like his fourth appearance and uh it, he's pretty much a basket case right now and just a small chunk but we're using him anyway normally you'd wash that stuff off melt it down and be pristine and new but i didn't have the mold for it and that's a lot of work so we're just going to use what we got let's shut up and shoot all right we're going to start off with some 350 grain i uh uh, have some 500s and the 275, so I figured it's a nice middle ground. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't think it went through. Oh, that one may have went through. I saw it jiggle. Oh, man. That's some flash there too. That's five. Oh my gosh. And uh, I thought we'd shut the frogs up by now, but they're still going. Let's see what damage we did. All right. We definitely cut through a few. Oh, hey, he's got some wood in him. I'm not sure if that's just, oh yeah, it's gotta be something. Cause look at that. Look at that. We did exit. So we did try this earlier on a bigger tree and it didn't go through. So that's why we're down this small. We're gonna just dig for bullets later. We're gonna keep shooting for now. Changing gears to the 500 grain. So now we're we're close to the weight of a 50 BMG because that's about 650 grain. So uh, yeah, 500 grain. Okay, I'm not looking forward to this one, but we're gonna see what happens. All right. Oh, that one bad. Not bad of much a difference at all. All right. Wait. Oh, they're getting water splashed. We know we're going through. Okay, we definitely, <laughs> we're cutting through it just fine. This is very, wow. This may not take much more at all. Because that is, all right, Bill, just take a break. Look at that. All right, I say we put one more cylinder into it and then push on it. All right, so this is me being cheap with my uh, 
37 cents a round pop. So 275 grain just because that's what I found on sale, right? Let's see what it does. Cause that's 500, I think it cut through Bill and the tree. I'm gonna have to move a camera. It's wiggling. I guess anybody just push it away. This may be it. It wants to. It wants to. Let's shoot it some more. I'm afraid that might fall towards the camera. So we might, uh, if you see me running towards the camera, it's just to save my equipment. Otherwise, Let's put another, hey, I'm gonna do it from here. Have a little bit different of an angle. And then, that's just a GoPro. That'll work, right? Let's go. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> they have the limbs catching it. Let's go again, let's go again. I think we just need a little shove. There we go! <laughs> nice! We have a good bit of little frags, and now we need to perform some, look at that. I love how it just goes to sawdust. It just pulverizes it. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, we need to we need to see if we found anything in Bill. Wow. All right. Wow, lots of wood. Look, look at that. That's all in there. So we're, we're look every one of these or those could be no. That's fresh wood there. So that's all fresh from today. Let's just cut down the middle and see what we find. Because then we'll be able to see better. Alright. This is how you surgery, right? Oh yeah, we got some. Oh yeah, sweet. Maybe I'll hold that. Oh, that's beautiful. I wonder which one it was though. Oh look at that. I think that's the 275s. Because Armar told me who made them, and I know that pattern. That's slick. That's that's perfect. Oh wow, we got a lot of them. They're just okay. I bet that's a 500 or a 350. It's a lot longer. There's another one. Sweet. All right, all right, guys. Well, this is cool. I tell you what. What we'll do? Go over to Top Shot Dustin and put your name in the email list. Then once, uh, you know, YouTube squishes my channel and everything, uh, I can still, you know, communicate with you. We will pick some winners and email you and send these to you. So, TopShotDustin.com, we will s send some fun souvenirs to you. There you go, cutting down some Chinese tallow with a Smith & Wesson 500. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, if you leave a comment, like, hit notifications on all that good stuff, and just tell me what you want to see in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye!
Yeah!